good, folks? It's your boy once again, Cat Beats, aka Face. You did. Um, today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to fatten up your drums. You know what I'm saying? So they can hit when you play them on big speakers. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas be hitting me up, sending me emails. You know, um, <clears throat> asking. You know, man, how you get your drums to be so fat? You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show y'all how it goes, dude. First of all, you know, it all starts with the sample. Whatever uh, <clears throat> drum sample you're using, you know what I'm saying? It's important that you use a high quality, good sounding kick first off before you even try to use that mug or edit it, you feel me? So make sure it's a good kick, you dig? Yeah, make sure it's, it's clear and it's, it should be somewhat fat. Uh, all right, now. This is what I'm gonna do. This one's already set up pretty much. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything back to normal how it was. You know what I'm saying? So you can hear the difference. And to do that, you just hold control and click on the control. It takes it back. You feel me? All right. Let's hear what the drums sound like before any editing. Now, just like in my um, template tutorial, got all my drums, you know, routed out each individual channel into a channel in a mixer. That way you can add effects individually. I mean, you could add it to the redrum and then use S1, S2, and uh, I don't like to do it that way. Feel me? Because I might add three or four different effects. So with the mixer you can have up to four auxiliary sins. So that's the way I do it. You dig? Now. Let's see. Now you see how it has a high end to it. It has like a hiss. And what I do. Is first of all. If you want a snappy punchy kick. You have to bring down the length of the sample to about one o'clock. See what kind of difference that made. Still a little bit of hiss in there. Let's turn it down some more. It's a little bit less hiss in it. Now, kick sounds punchy, man. You feel me? It's nice. It's ready to go. Now, another thing you want to do. Now, none of these things I'm telling you, you don't have to do it. You do it according to what the sample already sounds like. So, in this case, I'm going to turn down the tone a little bit because that's going to bring, you know, it's going to take out some of them highs that's in it. Yeah. See the difference in the sound? Bring that length down a little bit more. Still a little hissy in there. I'm bring the pitch down because I want a low, a low pitch kick. You feel me? There we go. Now, this is an 808 snare. I got it straight off of Roland's website. You can go to their website. And they'll give you the whole TR 808 kit for free. Let's hear what this sounds like. Now, first off, all 808 snares got to shorten the length a lot. That's how you want it. Now, usually I bring down the pitch a little bit. It's a little bit too much. All right. Now I got two claps here. Now them sound dope as is. But well for the track that I'm gonna let y'all hear, I uh I took the uh link down a little bit on them, you know what I'm saying? So. 
see how snappy and punchy that sounds. Alright. <clears throat> now. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to unmute the 808. Because I got them all, you know. These right here, the gates. Took the 3 into 4 to make it to where I can play. When I play 3, it automatically play 4. And I got 4 into 5 to where when I play 3, it'll play 4 and 4 will play 5. You did. Feel me. So, see what it sounds like. So you just mess with it, you feel me? According to your liking. Now with with the claps and the snare, I come up here. See, I got this uh, RV 7000 reverb routed to the third auxiliary sim. I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb to the claps and the snare. Also, I got my compression. First auxiliary. This is my settings for my compression, you know what I'm saying? Right here. Got that about two to one. Threshold about a good six, seven. Turn the attack down and the release so it'll snap and dig. Now, I'm not all up on that compression and everything. I just uh, looked at some videos on YouTube, did some research, so probably some better settings for it, but uh, it works. So, let's see the difference. Now, Another thing that'll make your drums fatter. Up here, master and sweep. You want to turn punch on. Turn the compression on, EQ on, turn all that on. And I usually boost the EQ a little bit. Bring up the highs, man, because reason be having a muffled sound to it, a little taste, you know. That's pretty much the basics of how to make your drums fat. You know what I'm saying? That concept goes for any kind of drums, whatever style it is. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to let y'all hear my track, though. And uh, I pretty much did that same exact thing on the drums. All right, now. Peep the drums out, folks. there you have it man leave comments ask questions whatever you want to do you dig once again it's your boy face signing off you dig uh holla at me you know leave comments whatever you want to do yeah